Welcome to viewers. Today I are going to see a new assignment that is how to make a default front panel window in LabVIEW programmatically. So before going further, we just have to know what is default front panel window in LabVIEW. In LabVIEW, whatever will be the size of the front panel before run, that will be your default front panel. So for example, this is the size of the front panel before uh, run. So when I'll hit run button, so this is becoming our default front, front panel window. And uh, if I'll change that size like this, again, when I'll, I am hitting the run button, then this is becoming the default front panel window. And uh, as you can see, we have two tap control unit. One tap control unit I have assigned as a default window and another tap control unit I have assigned as a auxiliary window. So when if we want that default window will come into picture when I will hit run button and all rest all the things will not come into pictures. So that means I am assigning a particular tap control window as a default front panel window. So without programming if you will do that what we have to do we just have to shrink this front panel boundary towards the tap control boundary. So whenever I am pressing a uh, run button that area is becoming our default front panel area now if you have to change the size of the tap control again you have to change the size of the front panel uh, pen so as you can see when i am pressing hit button again it, it becoming the default front panel window but if i want this front panel or this tap control unit to be a default programmatically so that means when I will hit run button, whatever will be the size or boundary of the front panel, when I am pressing run button, all default window tab control will come into pictures. So how to do? You can see already I have made that one. If I will enable this, then this is the boundary of the tab control. So when I am pressing uh, run button, you can see that particular uh, default window is becoming uh, our default front panel window. So again, if I will change the default window size like this, I change the default window size. Again, when I am pressing this run button, then according to the size of this uh, default window, the front panel window also changing. So how to do that? Let's see further. So before going to the programming section, let's have some idea about the terminology and the logic we are going to use. So you can see this yellow box is the monitor screen and the black box is the LabVIEW front panel screen and this is the width of the monitor screen and this is the height of the monitor screen and this is the height of the labu front panel this is the width of the labu front panel and we are going to use four terminology that is left right top and bottom so if we'll specify these four uh, characteristic of a labu front panel then we can set what is the position of the labu front panel as well what are the size or boundary of the labu front panel here we can see this is the width of the main screen that is named as x and the height is y and this width of this window front panel window is x1 and the height is y1 that we require this should be the window of x1 and y1 and the position we can set by adjusting left right top and bottom so how to calculate what will be the left dimension left dimension will be x by 2 minus x1 by 2 and the right will be left plus x1 so that this uh, front panel will be in center and the top dimension will be y by 2 minus y1 by 2 and bottom is equal to top plus y1 so if we'll do this all means we will set this left right top bottom according to x1 y1 and xy then we can see that the front panel will come in center and the size of the front panel will be according to our desired let's go to the programming section in LabVIEW, we have this uh, tap control unit and this is the dimension of the tap control. This is the height, this is the width. And this dot point, uh, pane start, means pane is the window, a part of the window of a front panel. Means there is so many, um, in a whole front panel, so many panes are there, like from here one pane, here one pane, here one pane. Means the, the total front panel is divided like uh, this is your uh, y axis and this is your x axis, this is first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. So, what we have to do, we have to just match the origin of this uh, front uh, tap control and the origin of this pane to be 0, 0, so that this tap control will match with the center of the pane. 
means the starting point of the pin so here we have to use the property of a pin so we can link to the pin and we can change it to right and we can set the origin property and also we can uh, disconnect the from panel and we can create the control so this is our pin control this is our pin control and we'll set this as a constant of zero that means origin of the pin is zero similarly we can link another net tap control so main tap and disconnect from the control and main tab dimension means the position also starting from zero so main tab position will be starting from zero and we will set this create a control and this is our tab control this tab is to control we, we will make a sub so that's why we are doing like this so we will do like this and we need the same similarly tab control and we will read the boundary of the tab control so that that will be our x1 and y1 and uh, it will unbundle that so that we can have our width and height width is our x1 and height is our y1 and also we need our monitor uh, screen so to do that we just have to create a property node and uh, we just we can link this uh, to or, or we can we can create a reference of the application and we can give it this and we can set the property and display all monitor so that it will display and all monitor output are generally you can see that will in uh, 2d array so you can see what you can go oh, so we can stop it okay so here oh, okay so let me do this let me do this so here you can see okay no, 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 no. you can see this is our 2d array so we use 1d array so we can drag change to read we have to travel them sometimes the position the boundary and this to be here this to be here and we just have to uncluster that like this with the end height and also before unclustering we have to use our index array to make a 2d array to 1d array so in 1d array what is the what output will come you can see left top right and bottom so we need light and top bottom so right is our width of the main screen and bottom is the height of the main screen so we can give like this and we need bottom uh, right that is x and bottom boundary bottom that is also this is x and this is y then we have to do all the dividing property that means we have to divide all those things with a constant that is create a constant 2 so we can divide this and also we can divide this and also we can divide this and also we can divide this and divide by 2 divide by 2 divide by 2 so the upper one this output is our x by 2 y by 2 and this is x1 by 2 this is y1 by 2 next we have to do subtract so we have to do subtract that means x by 2 minus x1 by 2 so x by 2 minus x1 by 2 and also have to subtract y by 2 and y1 by 2 then this we got left and top then we have to go at the bottom and right so that for that we have to add so like uh, we are adding left we are adding left with the x1 x1 means subtraction x1 this is x1 by 2 and this is our x1 similarly we have to add this uh, subtraction with uh, y1 so this is our limit this is our y1 by 2 we need y1 like this and we have to add okay so this is a divided by 2 this is also divided by 2 and we have subtracted and we have to add this with this okay. that is not return. we can again we can put like this we can add put like this and we can put like this okay then we have to set according now we got left top or left left right top bottom so that means we have to set the bi you can make this to uh, control so change to control and and we can have this one up and we can link to this uh, bi or we can create this bi and we can delete this and we have to change to right and we first have to change to right again okay we'll drag that one that's why so right we can change okay this this is the one set this this is already written we can have and we can have this and we can uh, create a link to this bi and we can link to this then down here we can create a control this is bi reference reference and we can drag it like this and then we can set the position from final boundary uh, to be a const set constant as a reference and we can cluster like this and one will be left top right bottom so left means is your x so that's your left and top left and then we can do which left and right right will just plus 
and top so top will be this and bottom bottom will be this and we need this output to here so control control u this is over we can go to this section this uh, top control is limited because you are using all references and you are going to use this uh, this is not required we are going to use this as is d so we can set this is your pan control terminal in control this is your tab control this is your references and this is your gear references and if we need error as input and output we can create control and like this create control so say create indicator create indicator and this error will be connected to this and then you can have these things error will come to here and it will come to here and we can have the error cluster as input and output output now now what we are going to see we can create a new VA and there we will have this tab control one we can set uh, this as main and another as auxiliary so you can see we can have one is main control and the auxiliary control and we are going to use this uh, sub VA uh, to se select this main tab control as the default front panel window so we can uh, use like we can drag this and we can set the we can set the constant for the VI reference we need 4 1 2 3 4 and the first tab one was pane so we can select that to pane second one is tab control so we can select here of the main tab control and second one is the references of what second one this is what reference this is app reference so we can say window reference application reference application reference and okay, okay okay and this to be come to here and this error should be flow in a sequence so control it to you like this and uh, next go to that vi we can uh, this is our application control and this is vi reference so that when I will hit run button, you can see according to the size of the main tab control, the total front panel window will shrink to that size automatically. So you can select like this, as you can see, this is the main tab control. And uh, if we'll just, uh, if we'll change like uh, this tab control reference as the auxiliary tab control, and you can see this auxiliary tab control will be the default front panel window, like this. This is the auxiliary tab control. And uh, sorry and you can see one minute okay you can see that is the auxiliary control so in this way we can uh, create a default uh, front panel window and this is the sub bi which is uh, used to set your uh, tab control as the default front panel window and i have uploaded this sub bi file in the description given below and uh, please subscribe the channel and have a nice day. Thank you.